Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox or Foxyard, and this time we're going to be building this HZ Series 7023. This is a DMU, it's a diesel multiple unit train. It's used by the Croatian Railways for passenger transportation. Of course, passenger, I mean, you can't really use it for anything else. And this is actually a train commission by a train driver from Croatia. So thanks to him for making this video possible. So if you take a look at this train, originally it's supposed to be four blocks wide in 1.5 one scale but you know he said he wanted five blocks wide so i made it five uh, a lot of people find that <laughs> to be a lot more aesthetically pleasing especially because you know like these white bars here on the side they're actually supposed to be really thin in real life it's hard to do that in minecraft though and here's what it looks like on the side so we have three cars here so it's not a very long train and uh, the first end car they're just 31 blocks long for the other end car as well as they're actually like the same car, they just rotate the other way. <laughs> and then the uh, middle car here, this is actually 25 blocks wide like that. And uh, yeah, let's get started on the build. So this train, I built it pretty symmetrical, so it's going to be the same thing for both sides. doesn't really matter which side you pick. First off, let's grab um, yellow wool, oak uh, stairs. Oh, there's like a little texture going on with my shaders. And then we'll take out polished blackstone brick. And then a slab and acacia uh, sign. Then smooth quartz stairs, block, dark oak fence gate. And let's take an iron trap door. That's all we can fit right now. So first off, let's make the coupling. It's going to be right in the middle. Just place our polished blackstone brick slab up there, hovering above. Acacia sign in the front of that. And behind that, we'll add in polished blackstone brick. And then down below, we'll add in an oak stairs, two blocks wide, so it's going to be cornered like that. Then two blocks wide, yellow wool. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right there. All right, so now on the side of this, we'll add in a smooth quartz stairs facing inwards like that. And we'll add in upside down smooth quartz stairs facing outwards. And then two blocks long, smooth quartz, just like that. Then we'll add in an iron trap door next to the fence gate. And on top here, we'll add in another smooth quartz stairs facing the very front. And then smooth quartz block over here. And uh, we're going to make it, so it's three blocks long, so one, two, and three. Then top here, we'll add in smooth quartz stairs facing inwards. And then another stairs. Actually, this is actually going to be a block right like that. And then we'll add in an upside down smooth quartz stairs right above that one. Just like so. Alright, so the back of this will add in a polished blackstone brick. Just like that. And on top here we'll add in a smooth quartz slab just two blocks wide on top. Behind it, two yellow walls. Just like so. Alright, so next up we'll add two blocks wide, another brick slab. A yellow glass paint to the side. Then two blocks wide. Black concrete. And then two blocks wide. Gray concrete. Top of that, two blocks wide, nether brick slab, and then black stained glass panes in front of the gray concrete for the windshield. And we'll also add in this oak sign right over here to the very corner. All right, so back on top here, we'll add a black carpet on the side of this, and we'll add in a polished blackstone um, brick like that, just two blocks wide. And then dangling up, it's gonna be two blocks wide, nether brick slabs like that. Then we'll add in a 2x2 two two of gray concrete, like so. And then to the side of this, there's going to be a smooth quartz slab over here, and then smooth quartz block underneath. And this is going to go one block forward, so it's two blocks wide. And then add stairs in front of that. Then for this edge here, there's going to be this little layer of snow. I think it is just one layer tall. And then on top of this, we'll add in a blackstone bun here in the middle. A polished blackstone brick slab, and then three polished andesite blocks. Then we'll add two polished, I mean, blackstone brick slabs like that. And then a 2x2 two two gray concrete, and then extend the gray concrete on the outer edge. Cross like that. Alright, so the back of this, we'll add in a 2x2 two two of gray carpet. Then two blocks wide, nether brick fence. And then two blocks wide, dark oak fence gates. That two blocks wide, nether brick fence again. Alright, so next we'll add in smooth quartz slab, and this is going to be three blocks long here, so one, two, three. Right underneath we'll add in a red concrete. 
and then two smooth quartz slabs going to be upper slabs and then um, on this top section we'll add also a smooth quartz slab and we're going to make this go line up with the bottom one and on top of this we'll add in a red concrete and we'll add in birch buttons to sides of both these red concretes like that next up we'll add in uh, two blocks tall gray concrete here and then we'll add black concrete that is going to be I believe a two by two inside like that then we'll add in two nether brick slabs here another one underneath here and then a diorite slab here nether brick slab nether brick stairs on top of this and then we'll add black concrete one here and then it goes daggly inwards block like that all right so after that we'll add in gray concrete we'll make another two the two on the inside and then black concrete again and then next time we'll do red concrete, the same thing, just two blocks long this time. Then two by two underneath here. It's going to be one of the doorways. Alright, so next up we'll add in stone slab over here. And we're going to make it 26 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Just like that. Then we'll go dangly up and add in acacia slab like that two blocks long and the inside of that we'll add in cyan terracotta here and then stone block next to it and next up we'll add in a red concrete on the inside just like that and um just make it two blocks tall and right over here like an l shape we'll get back to that let's so let's go back here in the front here we need to finish this is part up a little bit, so add in, I believe that is four um, smooth quartz blocks. So one, two, three, four, right behind those stone slabs, just like that. And on top of this, we'll add in red concrete like that. And then we'll pretty much add in a red concrete, extend this all the way across the side. So kind of like colors up. You don't have to fill in like that part because it's already sticking out. But everything else, just fill that in red concrete. So you got that nice red stripe across. All right, so next up, we'll add in a polished um, blackstone slab, and we're gonna add that two blocks wide here, another brick slab here, another brick slab here, and let's go to the back, three nether brick slabs, and then two nether brick slabs over here, and then two polished blackstone brick slabs like that. Skip a block two, skip a block, and then extend this all the way across to that other nether brick slab and nether brick slabs fill in the rest of the gaps and then we'll add in a black concrete daily in like that and then we'll add in a two by two gray concrete and then a gray concrete over here dark oak trap doors two of them on diagonal open them both up like that and then gray concrete here another one daily up and also add another one in the inside of that trap door all right next up we'll add in black concrete over here on top of these nether brick um, slabs. And then we'll add in gray concrete two blocks wide here, the black concrete here, then two blocks wide, gray concrete, black concrete. Add in the same thing, gray concrete two blocks wide here. And then we'll add in dark oak trapdoors to sides that and open them up like that. And uh, add in the same thing on the other side. So we want to make this go daily up so. Let's also add two blocks wide gray concrete here and another two gray concretes on the inside of that dark oak trap door open that up all right so then we'll add in two blocks long gray concrete two of them on diagonal and then that black concrete again and over here in this space we'll add in um, smooth quartz slab it's going to go pretty much an upper slab all the way across the side of this train just to make everything nice like that all right so after we've done that we're gonna do the same thing just on this topper this upper row I just making up words topper that goes all the way across like that and then we'll add in a red concrete inside it's gonna go all the way across la -di da to the front where we match up where we have that ball all right so it looks like this and then we're gonna add another row this time it's gonna be um, stone slab, so I'm going to make this go all the way across 
to the other side. Now, when I was originally building this train, it was supposed to be four blocks wide, so there was not really much room in the middle. So that's why you see like these red areas. So ideally, you know, if you're starting it from scratch, I would just, I'm gonna change it like after this video, make the middle part like stone block. Make this go all the way across. All right, after we've done that, uh, let's add in this skeleton skull and also warp button and acacia button. So a skeleton skull is gonna be on the side of this. And then we'll add an acacia button here in the front, warp button following that. And over here, there's going to be um, two by two gray concrete. And then let's go inside a dark oak trapdoor on the upper level, open that up. Gray concrete in the bottom and then gray concrete in the inside of that trapdoor. Just so that we have like these nice window pillars. All right, so next up, let's go on the roof. And uh, we're gonna skip a block here, added another brick wall like that. Then go to the back part, and we're going to add in a light gray carpet. We're going to make it L-shaped like this. Polished black stone brick slab like that. And then four polished andesite blocks. Then two polished andesite stairs in the front. And then two black stone brick stairs in the other section. And then we'll add in a light gray carpet and uh, cover up this roof area. So that They're all level like that. All right, so now I'm gonna add the wheels. So let's go down here, and we'll add in a chisel nether brick block, upside down nether brick stairs, and then two nether brick slabs. Skip a block, chiseled nether brick block, and then an upside down nether brick stairs, so that is gonna be where the bogey is. Inside of that, we'll just add in a row of nether brick slabs all the way across. All right. Then we'll go to the back section over here. And then we'll add in that uh, chiseled nether brick block upside down stairs. And then two nether brick slabs. Skip a block, chiseled nether brick block. Then nether brick stairs upside down like that. And then nether brick slabs all the way across the inside of that. And that's where the bogey for that is going to be. And then we'll add in hopper sides of the wheels. And then a dark oak fence gate. And that will be to the side of these hoppers facing the inside of that. And then we'll add in a um, dark oak fence gate over here on the left. And then another brick slab. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just hoppers over here, dark oak fence gates. And it will be opened up towards the middle. And then dark oak fence gate in the front. Another brick slab after that, and that's going to be our bogey design. Now, the space in between, we'll just fill that in with stone slabs, just all the way across. And this is a low floor train, so that's why it's so low. <laughs> so next, we're going to make this accordion gangway, so take out stone brick wall. And we're going to add it, so it's uh, two blocks wide over here. And I would say it's four blocks tall, so one, two, three... Four like that, and then this top part we should make that another two blocks tall on the side. And inside we'll add in um, two blocks wide stone brick slabs, and then a light gray carpet right there in the middle. So I just realized I made a mistake over here. This actually should be more closer to the middle area. So just shift that over so this is actually centered with the gangway like that. So that is like five blocks wide like that. All right, so next up, we'll take out uh, Saiyan Terracotta and place that over here with a stone block in front of that. And if I said this was gray concrete, it's supposed to be Saiyan, apparently. All right, next up, we'll add in two blocks wide, acacia slabs like that. And then we'll add in stone slab right down here. We're going to make it 11 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, just like that. And that's going to be for the middle of the car. After we're done with that, let's add in a layer of stone slabs all the way across that. And then behind that, it's going to be a layer of two blocks tall red concrete all the way across to the middle. Like that. And add in red concrete on the inside of this as well. Then we'll take out a nether brick slab. We'll add four blocks long here, two blocks wide in the center. Black concrete on either side of that. 
and daily in uh, black concrete and then uh, two by two of gray concretes black concrete over here the two gray concretes another two daily in and then black concrete and then red concrete two blocks long and make this outer edge two by two then we'll add in some, two of these black concretes uh, two gray concretes and then a gray concrete it's going to be in block like that and then we're going to make it go out a block again just like so and that's going to be at the end and then we'll add in these dark oak trapdoor sides of that one at the edge and open them up like so and then we'll add in um, smooth quartz slab just a uh, row across the top section of this then um, on the inner edge of this we'll add in red concrete all the way across and then smooth quartz slabs all the way across and then a layer of stone slabs all the way across this just like so all right next up we'll add in um, birch buns this is going to be on the sides of this doorway like that and then we'll add in that polish uh, black stone slash just two blocks wide underneath that window as well as this part over here underneath these three blocks and then nether brick slabs for the rest of these holes underneath the black concrete next up on the roof area we'll add in polished black stone uh, brick slab over here it's going to be two blocks wide at the edge and we're going to line that up with this black uh, concrete pillar just add two blocks wide so it should be a two by four and then we'll skip a block and uh, we'll add in two blocks wide smooth stone block like that with light gray carpet on top and we can add in stone all the way across the middle whatever is not exposed or whatever is exposed i mean light gray carpet all the way across for the rest of it and fill in that gap of the roof like so all right so now we're going to make these door banners so to do that's really easy just go to our loom put a black banner with a red dye and make a board around it that's pretty much it you just put that on the sides where the doorways are supposed to be so that's going to be also on the first first car in the middle car as well and then next up we'll go to the first end car here add in birch buttons on the side of this doorway all right so now we're gonna flip it so it goes on the other side over here all right so once we have the other side it should look like this perfectly symmetrical and then we'll flip it off on this side all right so once you've built the other side it should look like this and yeah that's actually pretty much it on how to build the hz series 7023 dmu in minecraft I hope you guys enjoyed the design and thanks to a train driver from Croatia for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in doing commissions for yourself, check out the link in the description. Anyways, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you have already. I'll see you guys in the next one.